How commission works in real estate, in Australia anyways, or New South Wales. I'm guessing it'd be very similar to most states in the country, but the breakdown, how it works, the kind of money to expect, and how to work it out. If you're watching this video, I'm guessing you're thinking of getting into real estate or you've just gotten into real estate and you want to understand how the commission breakdown works and the structures that are available once you start making some sales. So if you're just starting out in real estate, you'll more than likely work alongside a real estate agent and just be their assistant. You'll more than likely be on minimum wage with some possible bonuses um, for sales and things like that. But the next steps after that, once you start getting some traction, some listings, and you kind of want to go out on your own, there's pretty much two options in the industry. Option one is debit credit. Now, when I explain this, I'm going to keep everything simple in terms of dollars and split. So the split, I'm just going to say 50-50. And what I mean by split is every dollar that you earn, a, a percentage of that will go to the company that you work for. The company standard or the industry standard is around 50%. Again, it's more or less in every comp different company that you go to, but we'll just keep it 50-50 for the explanation. So every $10,000 you make, you'll make five, and then the company you work for gets 5,000 as well. So back to debit credit. Now, the way this structure works is essentially you'll be getting a wage every week. Now, this is great for security and for people that have got bills and just want that weekly income. So we'll just say it's a four week month and you're getting $1,000 a week. So in the month, you'll have $4,000 in wages for the month. And say you generate $10,000 for yourself in commission, then you need to pay those wages back. So out of the 10,000, the company will take the 4,000 from the wages that they've already given you, and then you'll get a $6,000 commission check at the end of the month. Now, again, like I said, this is great for people that want security and that weekly income to keep on top of bills. But where this can get dangerous is when you fall into debt, you don't have any commission coming in and you don't have any sales coming in. Coming in, Now you can fall into debt, significant debt. I've actually been in this position and it is quite stressful and scary. Luckily enough, I worked hard and I turned it around, but not everyone does. And then that's when it puts you in a bit of an awkward position where you need to ask yourself if this is the industry for you or not. Now option two, not as much pressure, but again, not good if you need that weekly income. Option two is essentially just commission only. So no wage, no weekly income, just commission only. So when you make a sale, you get paid. So every $10,000 in commission you generate, you will cut that in half, 5,000 to the company, 5,000 to you, and then that's it. So if you wanna make $100,000 in the year, you'll have to make $200,000 in commission. So like I said, it's great, but if you don't sell, you don't eat. And that's essentially it, it's pretty simple. That's how the commission structure works, and there's nothing much else to it. If you have any other questions that you want to learn about real estate, let me know below. Remember to touch the sub and remember if you're thinking of selling, you got to give me a call today because I have the nightest touch and everything I touch turns to sold.